What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I'm going to open up six of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery packs for you guys. So yeah, I finally found more of these, uh, I think they're only at Walmart, that's where I found these two. And uh, last time I opened up, what was it, like four of them or something, because that's all they had at my Walmart. Well this time they had a few extras, so I picked up six of them, and I thought it'd be fun to, well, see what we can get. And also too, in case people are wondering, I believe these are... What was it, around 5 or $6 around that? I think it might have been 6 with tax and everything. And also, you get a booster pack in this, as well as one rare card, which can be a holo, too. I mean, last time we had some pretty good luck with, like, the, the holo card you're getting, or the rare card, whatever, because I assume you also can get regular rares. And uh, also, legacy packs are normally in these, too. So, they're actually pretty awesome. Let's just hope we have good luck this time. So, let's see. And of course, too, if you guys enjoy random openings like this, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell. I mean, it really helps support the channel. Also, you can become a member if you want to. I give you a shout at the end of the video, and uh, yeah, I mean, it really helps out with the channel. It's kind of like Patreon, sort of. All right, we got, was this, Super Rare? Oh yeah, it's actually from uh, Pendulum Evolution, I believe. So, that's actually kind of cool. Dharma, I'm Magician. You know, <laughs> better than like a token card or something. Sometimes you can get some kind of crazy things. And Dark Crisis. Let's just go with it. It's going to go one at a time. Let's see. Goblin of Greed. That's kind of cool. And Blindly Loyal Goblin right after that. And we got Spell Finishing. Well, there we go. Starting off with a Super Rare. Very nice. Uh, that threw me off. Sometimes, you know, I know in some of our newer packs it is, you know, Hollow then Rare. And then sometimes it's reversed in some of these older packs. So I wasn't expecting a Hollow first. But yeah, that is awesome. It has Breaker the Magical Warrior on the front of it, too. It's a pretty cool looking card. I always liked it mainly for the artwork, so that's cool. And then, I, uh, let's see, Contract with the Abyss. That is really cool looking, too. That's the ritual spell, basically, for the new uh, Summon Skull Ritual Monster, if we ever get that. But yeah, starting off with a Hollow, I'll take it. All right, next pack. Yeah, there's a good variety. It's usually like... Uh, Legendary Collection 1 packs, though, in case people are wondering. Oh, well, did we get the same stuff? Well, first off, we got a Darmine Magician again. Same pack and all that, too. And Dark Crisis. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was Legend of Blue or Dark Crisis being that blue. But, <laughs> let's see. All right, let's get another hollow. Exodia Necros. Uh, let's go with that. I've never gotten one of those. Guardian Elma. That's actually kind of cool. Mustering Dark Scorpions. Ninkin Dog. And we got a Secret Rare! Holy crap, we actually got a secret rare. It is Judgment of Anubis. That is so awesome. I, I was thinking for a second, I was like, oh, we got another one of spell finishing. No, we didn't. We got a secret rare from this one. That is so cool. I can't believe that, especially from, uh, it's an older set, but, you know, again, these are probably from Electric Collection, so they're kind of newer printings, technically. That is so cool. Either way, though, I have not seen this card in such a long time either, so... I can't believe that. It looks amazing. Then we also got one of the uh, the Guardian weapons. Anything else? That's, that is amazing, though. I can't believe we actually got a Seeker here. When I saw that it was a, a trap card, it looked like it was holographic, because, again, it's kind of darker looking. I was thinking, well, we just got another spell finishing. That's kind of weird. <laughs> no, we actually uh, we stepped it up a bit. Okay, man. First two packs, already winners there. Um, see what else. It's going to be the same set. I kind of wonder if they're all going to be Dark Crisis now and Dharma Magician. Hey, if they keep going like this, I'm not going to complain. Okay, we got something different this time. This one is a dual, uh, a Sim Worm. So that's kind of cool. That's from, yeah, that's from the starter deck. Okay, I couldn't remember for a second. And, yeah, Code the Duelist. I thought so. Kind of looked like it. So these can be pretty random. Okay. Ones I opened up last time, they had mainly those Legacy Packs, and I think it was... Uh, Crossroads, I think, was like the other one. Not not 5Ds, but yeah. Let's see. Boogie Trap. <laughs> I guess there you go. And we have Goki the Great Ogre. For a second, it solves Link Monster. I was hoping it was Firewall. And then also uh, Spring King, uh, Drag Edge, Starving Venom. So you're guaranteed a hollow with uh, Course Code the Duelist. In case people don't know that, yeah. It's one of those sets where you're guaranteed. So when they change that. Everything after Breakers of Shadow in Arc 5. We started getting where we're guaranteed hollows. And <laughs> again with a double. Really? I think it's also go to the duelist again, right? And yeah. <laughs> that that's funny. And I wonder if those two are gonna be the same or, or what they're gonna do. That's really interesting. I just picked up, you know, the random packs that they had too, so who knows? 
And we have Goki Twist Cobra, another Goki card, as well as uh, Rivendred Slayer. It's pretty cool. And uh, let's see what's in this one. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering. I kind of hope we have more legacy packs than this one, but uh, let's see. Oh, okay, we got something different. Yeah, uh, first off, we have Hypno Sister, which is that also? Yeah, it's also a Pendulum Evolution on that. And uh, yeah, Pharaoh Serpent. I thought that was the set for a second. So yeah, uh, Legacy Pack. Let's see. What does this one have on it? Um, Thousand Eyes Restrict. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, it's like the fourth set, if I'm not mistaken. Janet Javelin. Twin Headed Fire Dragon. Skull Mariner. I always thought that looked cool. Then uh, School Invitation. And, oh man, that looked like a hollow for a second. Dang. <laughs> Got my hopes up. Harpy's Brother, though. That's kind of cool. And last pack. Okay, place your bets now. What are we going to get out of this one? Is it going to be the same? Like, am I going to get Hypno Sister and Pharaoh Servant again? Let's see. I kind of hope so. <laughs> just so it just evens things out. That kind of symmetry, right? And, no, we actually got something else. Let's see. So, first off, we have uh, Guiding Ariadne, which, uh, that's a pretty good super rare. Everyone, there was some hype around that card, because Counter Fairies. And Dark Crisis. I thought so, but I always kind of wonder if it's Legend of Blue Eyes when I see that blue colored pack. Let's see. What are we ending with? Can we end with a hollow? I can say that. That's right. Let's see. Sasuke Samurai, Falling Down, Dice Reroll, Zolga. Then we have a contract with the Abyss, and oh, unfortunately no hollow out of that one. Sarkoetsu Armor, though. <laughs> I remember that card. Everyone using that back in the day. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I, I had good luck, though. Honestly, I mean, even though the last like four packs weren't as crazy, I mean, getting Judgment of Anubis, that, that's really awesome. Especially out of an older pack like that. And even Spell Vanishing. I mean, again, that is a hollow out of an older pack. That's awesome. In my opinion, that's good. You can't go wrong with that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on future content. And uh, let me know if you guys like to see more of these. I mean, this has been like the second time I've opened them up, but um, let me know. Because if I find more of them, I kind of think they're worth it. I mean, they're a lot better than the, the ones where you can see what mystery pack you're getting. Or you can see what pack, but you get like random cards with it or whatever like they've had because those are like eight dollars this is much cheaper so let me know i mean it's a fun way to see what legacy packs you can get and uh yeah and let me know what other openings you'd like to see in the future again uh like subscribe ring the bell so you don't miss out and of course i will catch you guys later see ya